You know, I've always felt that the strength of your team was your senior class, and uh, you're really only as good as your senior leaders are. So for me, we'll certainly lean heavily on that senior class, and it's a good class. Uh, you know, Danny Sumner has had a great career here at William & Mary and, and really grown as a person. Um, Stephen Hess has got a chance to really step up and be a, a frontline player for us this year. David Schneider's had a great career and, and done some terrific things. And, and Sean McCurdy, who played most of the year last year hurt, I think has a chance to really step up and have a great senior year as well. So we'll lean heavily on that group. I mean, we were disappointed in the last year after two really good years and playing the CA tournament. Uh, our first recruiting class uh, played in that CA championship game for the first time ever, and uh, we were a little disappointed in, in how we performed last year. Uh, one of the real keys for us this year is the chemistry of this basketball team. Uh, in, in all honesty, uh, in my 30 odd years of coaching, last year's team was a little fragmented, and uh, as a result, I don't think we played as well as we were capable of at times. So this team, the, the real key for us is to be a team, that, that unified group. Uh, we, can, we know we can achieve greater things together than we can apart, and uh, that's something that since the, the season ended last year, we have talked and preached and worked on, and right now I feel it's a real strong aspect of our ball club. You know, I think anybody recruited to play Division I athletics wants to play the best. They want to see how they match up. So certainly that's a, a big part of what we're doing. Uh, you know, we want, to, we want to compete with some of the better teams in the country and put our guys in a tough environment on the road and see how we react. And all of those things will help us prepare for the CAA tournament. Ultimately, that's our goal is to win the CAA. So uh, it's exciting to be going to Wake Forest and Connecticut and Maryland and places like that. And, and uh, uh, what I want our program to do is get to the point where these are not just exciting games, these are what we consider winnable games too. So uh, I think it's going to be fun. One of the nice things is we've got, we got some experience back, so it's going to be more difficult for young guys to step in. But I think if you consider new, uh, include John Mark, a transfer that had to sit out last year, John Mark Ludwig has a chance to step in and help us. Uh, He's an out, well, he is the best shooter on our team, period. Uh, now, if he can prove he can play the defense and, and, and the toughness we need uh, on the defensive end, he will help us, certainly. Um, our three freshmen have all really been good in the fall. Uh, Kyle Gayard might be the one most prepared to play at this point. Kyle, 6'7", very long, extremely athletic young guy. Uh, played at a very high level high school basketball. So. And he's very versatile. He can play a lot of positions, so he's going to have a chance to play. Uh, Matt Rum, a freshman from Baltimore, has been very impressive in early workouts, really a nice shooter. And uh, Andrew Pavlov from Ohio, another 6'8", 6'9", freshman, uh, has had a little bit of a slow start only because of injuries. We have some concern about him having a sports-related hernia right now. So you know, all, all the young guys we're excited about. It's two things for me. One is, you know, college sports, as you know, is very physical. And if you're not strong and fit, you're going to suffer. Uh, secondly, though, I think it's a really strong indication of the amount of all-season work and preparation our guys have done. You know, they, they had a great spring. They were here one session of summer school as a group. Uh, and have had a really good fall. And I, I would like to give some of that credit to Jake. Uh, Jake Dyslin in the, in the weight room has done a terrific job with our players uh, in s sort of arranging these workouts for basketball. We're not only in, we look better, but we're definitely in better condition. So it's, uh, it's exciting. CAA is great every year. And if you look at some of the statistics that were just released from the league office, uh, 73% of the starters are back in the league uh, this year. There are two teams that have all five starters returning. Six teams have four starters returning. So, quite honestly, the league won't be a lot different. But I would, you know, if, if pressed to pick three or four top teams, I would, I would certainly put Old Dominion returns their enti almost their entire squad and won 25 games last year. Uh, Northeastern will be very strong. VCU and George Mason will be very strong. You know, where the strength of this league really is is in the bottom half. All those teams are so strong that uh, it, it pushes us to a new level, I think. 
you know, the challenge here continues to be to, to, to get this program in the top part of this league. And I think for a couple years we, we proved that. Uh, you know, uh, won 15, 17, 16 games and, and we're very competitive with everybody in this league, knocked off the best teams in this league. Uh, last year we thought we went backwards a little bit. So our, 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 our real challenge right now is, to, is not only to get back there, but to stay there and, and consistently be a team that, that is considered a championship caliber team. Uh, and, and it's a challenge at William & Mary, uh, but I think it's one we can conquer. Tribe Pride to me, I think, is, is, is pretty simple. It's, uh, it's ordinary guys trying to do extraordinary things.